Hello. Many of you are aware of the YouTube change that took place two nights ago where they decided to demonetize all channels that have below a thousand subscribers and below 4,000 hours of watch time in the last year, in the last 12 months. So my channel now gets demonetized. Yeah, I'm about 50 subscribers away from a thousand, but I only have about 2,500 hours of watch time in the last 12 months. So I, I don't get monetized anymore. I'm, my channel no longer is seen as monetizable by YouTube. Because of the adpocalypse and according to Philip DeFranco, this isn't Logan Paul's fault. Specifically, it's actually Adpocalypse 3's fault of all the kid shows that were deeply inappropriate and were making money and all the fake creators, rip-off creators that were stealing content and making money. Their idea is that if they can demonetize the smaller channels, they drive more revenue to the effective, family-friendly, friendly big channels. Which does suck because I have an audience of about 950 of you that have faithfully clicked subscribe as of today, which is a Thursday, January, Thursday, January 18th, 2018. And again, I am so appreciative of all of that. But when I hit 10,000 views, I got eligible for the YouTube Partner Program, and that was in August of 2017. And from August to January, with the views I've brought in, I've made about $60 in ad revenue, and only growing that whole time. So it's not unrealistic to think that I can make two, three, four hundred dollars in ad revenue alone in 2018. Now, that's not money to live on, but that is money. And that money is now taken away from me as a career. So there are other ways to make money on YouTube and I just wanted to know many of you are small creators yourselves And I want to know from you like how does this affecting you? How do you what do you think about all of these changes? Do you think these are, are good changes or not? You know all I know is from perspective of my channel it sucks for me You know I have a channel that has good content that brings value to people is family friendly So there's 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 two ways f for this to change either I get a lot of subscribers and a lot of views in the next year and I'm monetized again or we do other means to make money. So, raise your hand if you are interested in my channel and you like what I do and you'd be willing to support me on Patreon. If that's you, that link is below. You can give $1 a month, $10 a month, $20 a month, whatever you're comfortable with to participate in supporting this channel. All that money is gonna go towards is, is buying or renting gear to review, um, as well as keeping up the gear that I already have and just, you know, a little bit to compensate for the time I put into these videos. Secondly, raise your hand if you like to buy stuff on Amazon. If so, you can click my affiliate links below. Each link that links to a piece of gear in my video description will take you to my Amazon affiliate store and if you buy things, Things. through those links it gives me a kickback for helping push you towards Amazon so that would be much appreciated as well raise your hand if you're interested in audio plugins because I have these audio plugins that I've used with the stock plugins in Adobe audition for dialogue for mastering for voiceover for interview stuff like I've made a few of these plugin presets for audition and I would be happy to provide those to you for a small cost like five bucks six bucks for 10 plugins presets or something like that. Raise your hand if you'd be interested in that, for real. And then finally, what about merch? Does anybody want a t-shirt with my logo on it? <laughs> that sounds so ridiculous to do, but uh, there's this uh, wonderful website called Teespring that makes it super easy. And if anyone is interested, even one person, I could launch that merch and you could buy a t-shirt with my Oliver J. Hughes logo. And I don't know what it would say, like maybe preach the audio gospel or something like that. So anyway, this is more just an exploring video of what people are interested in doing to support me. And, and, and if you're a small creator, what are ways you are looking to monetize your channel outside of YouTube? I love Philip DeFranco. I've always been a faithful subscriber to him. And I really appreciated his advice of like, hey, find other ways to make money on the platform. Because making money is a great and good and, and wonderful thing to pursue as a creator because it helps us continue creating. That's all for this little update. I'm back in KC. Watch out for the Friday show tomorrow, Friday, and I will see you then.